Hi, today we'll be making habanero tuna salad and uh, we have the ingredients here. Very simple to make, economical and fast. Now, as you can see, we have the star, which is the tuna, canned tuna, and we have two. And we're going to uh, make it with bagel, put it on, and everything bagel, because everything bagel is my one of my favorites. We're going to have one stalk of celery, and this is the habanero that we picked from the garden. Okay, and uh, I chose this size because we don't want it to overcome the flavor of the tuna. Now, we also have lettuce, mayonnaise, and sweet relish. These are the basics. We're going to start off first by cutting the celery lengthwise, like this. Be careful with your fingers. Cutting, cut them to as small pieces as possible. Be careful with your fingers. Cutting up this one stalk of celery. For me, the smaller the cut, the better. So we're just cutting it lengthwise. And then we're gonna Cut them more finely. Put them in a bowl. Now, in the meantime, I will be toasting my bagels in my little toaster oven. Not too well toasted, just enough. Okay, and we're gonna come back here. Now, for the habanero, you only need this size. If you have a bigger habanero, cut them to about this size. Because we don't want it burning our tongue while we're eating. We need it just to flavor. Usually I like to take the seeds out, but feel free to leave the seeds in if you desire. They are very, very hot and may overcome your tuna taste. Okay, there we go. Some people prefer to leave it in because they like it hot. Me, I like it mildly so. Not five alarm. So we just cut them up like this. And then chop them into as many fine pieces as you can. Okay, and you just put them in. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up these tuna and drain them. I prefer tuna in water. Now you can choose any brand you want of course like solid uh, uh, or chunk lights up to you. Now you see that I have the open tuna and they are drained. I'm just going to take a spoon and just Put them right into the mixing bowl with my freshly chopped celery and habanero. Next, we're going to put 
two sweet two spoons full of sweet relish and next we're going to add two spoonful of mayonnaise for those of you who like a more creamier uh, uh, tuna salad you can use three depending on your taste preference now I also like to add fresh ground pepper and now we're gonna give it a thorough mix as you can see And if you see those tuna chunks, mush them up. So let it all get mixed into the tuna salad and making it more uniform. And the, and the taste will be more consistent. Now, and that's it really. Now comes the assembling part. Here are our toasted bagels, everything bagels we're using is a butter knife to cut them in half like so. And feel free to use anything you like, such as um, tortilla wraps, you can use sliced bread, uh, multi-grain bread. You can eat it with crackers, anything you like. Okay, it will be delicious. Now, what I like to do generally is that I like to take the breading out like this, especially when it's hot, you want something like a butter knife to help you remove the insides of the bread. You can remove one side or both, it's up to you. We are trying to uh, reduce calories, so we're going to remove both sides. Okay. If it's not too hot, you can remove it with your fingers. And that's the first one. And I'll be doing it for the remaining two. Now we're ready to assemble. We first start with lettuce. Now, what I did neglect to mention is that I love tomatoes. So what I'm going to do is that I'm also going to be adding tomatoes. Let's put them on this side. Oops. Okay. Now the final step is to add our habanero tuna salad.
No, that is tasty. And here is our final product. Now we're gonna eat. I took a taste of it. It's pretty good. This um, habanero tuna salad. If you like this recipe, and it's quite simple, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.